Welcome back into the Gopher pregame show, everybody. Special guest joining us now, the sophomore sensation himself, Justin Wally, defensive back for your Golden Gophers. And Justin, um, it has been a long season. I can't believe it's almost over. One more game to go, and it is a big one later today against the University of Wisconsin. Big rivalry game. What are you looking forward to the most taking on Wisconsin? Well, just going out there one last time with all the seniors. You no, know, this is their last regular season game, so you know, it's a big game for the acts, you know, the, his, the history of this uh, game. And just, though, we went there with our team one more time. It's a great challenge for us, and we're, we're excited for that. You were part of the team that won last year to win the Axe. You know what it's like to feel winning the Axe. <clears throat> what is that feeling like with your friends and teammates knowing that you get bragging rights for an extra year? Yes, yeah, it's, it's amazing. You know, the locker room after the, after the game last year was amazing. You know, everybody on campus was just way more happy, you know, and... <laughs> You know, the team means the next day is a little less, a little less stressful. So it's a great feeling just to have the X back. When you look at Wisconsin, what kind of challenges do they pose when you study them on film? Well, you know that um, they have a really good offense. So some guys that receive that can go get the ball. So you know, us as a defensive back, you know, really challenge this week. The coach challenges every day to you know try to limit explosive plays. And you know, their running back room is always good. They have like they have those talented backs they have. So. Yeah, we're not working out for us this week, you know, but we're prepared for it. So. When you play in a rivalry game like this, what's the key to kind of putting the personal feelings aside and just channel yourself in, knowing it's it's still it's a rivalry game, yes, but it's still football at the end of the day. Yeah, that's that's the challenge of every week, really. So going into the game, you know that it's just you, you got to play every snap, every play is its own play, and put all the outside noise away. Just play, just be in the now. Now you're originally from Mississippi. How was the recruiting process like for you, and how did you eventually land on the University of Minnesota? Well, I was recruited during COVID, so I didn't get to visit or anything. But, you know, the coaches, the coaching staff, they kept really in touch with me during class. And all the time, they would always call, call me on, on my free time. So it really stuck with me and led me to have, choose them over to the other schools, like in Mississippi. So just my relationship with the coaching staff. Last year, you really started to come on later on in the season. This year, you've got two interceptions. You've, you've forced a fumble. You have a knack for being around the ball. Where does that come from? Uh, I don't know. Just you know, back to high school, it always came to me. But I just guess just being in the right place at the right time, the ball just just happened to be there. So I guess you call it luck if you want, but it's just always there. Well, I'm certainly not going to call it luck. I would imagine there's a lot of preparation and skill that goes into it. But on top of that, too, this secondary has been such a heartbeat for this team all season long. What can you say about the guys in the secondary room and how this unit has played this year? You know, we have guys – really too deep in every position, two or three deep. And, you know, the whole all season, we worked hard. You knew from all season that we have a pretty good unit just for how hard everybody works. You know, we have Tyler Newbern, who works his butt off every day at practice, every day in the winter conditioning, to now uh, Jay Howe, tea time. You have the addition with Beanie and Ryan. And we all just bring it every day. So we feel like we, we had a pretty good group, and we're just playing our butts off right now. What has made you guys so good, in your opinion, especially in the secondary? Like, what is, has been the key? I guess just um, communication. We communicate a lot more than we did last year, and we just have a knack for the ball. We're all trying to get the ball back to the offense. And you're about to complete your second year here at the U. How have you seen yourself grow, develop as a person and a player? Um, I feel like I've become more mature overall. You know, I'm able to take coaching better now. You know, coaches, it's way different than high school, so when they own me, I know it's, they want me to be better. So just that. How, how have they made you better? Just, just the detail, like small things, like, Stance, alignment, that, and just in class, you know, being the first two rows, wearing a college shirt every day of class, those things, like those small things really translate to playing the games. Now, as somebody who has never been to Mississippi before, what was it like growing up in Mississippi? What do you miss? What do you look forward to when you go back home? Do you still have family there? What was it, what was it like growing up in Mississippi? Well, I have a big family, so every okay. time I go back, you know, I have a lot of cousins I see, a lot of uh, aunts, uh, uncles, so just that really is what I miss the most. Is it a football family? Yeah, my older brother plays at Mississippi State. I have a cousin that played at West Virginia, played in the NFL a little bit. I have some younger cousins, one's going to Mississippi State for baseball. I had a cousin that played softball at, in junior college, so we really play sports a lot in my family. An athletic family, it yeah. sounds like. That's, that's for sure. Now that this is the final game of the regular season, you know, before you guys go bowling, of course, what are you looking forward to the most stepping out with the guys one last time, especially the seniors? You know, just stepping out with them one last time and, you know, it's their last game, but, you know, tea time, j House. so just going to put on the line for them one last time, you know. Me and tea time been close for the whole two years I've been here, so just got some way with a win, so that's the biggest goal for me. What would it be like to bring the axe 
here once again on campus. It would be amazing, man. You know, two years back to back. Well, I won't be here two years, but I know how last year it was and how good it felt. I just want that feeling again. I remember before the season started when we had our first PJ Flex show of the season out of the State Fair, we talked about who are our guys to watch this season. Justin Wally was my guy to watch, just a guy who seems to constantly be around the football. When you have a corner that has a nose for the football like that, you can get aggressive on defense, and he has proved to be, once again, just a tremendous piece on this defense. Yeah, not only that, when you play in man coverage, he makes it a lot easier on the defensive coordinator as well, to your point, because he can play man, and he's always Johnny on the spot. Last year as a freshman, he had a lot of big plays where he was coming up with it, whether it was a strip fumble or an interception. This year, a little bit of the same. Not as loud, because Tyler Newbin has been really loud this year, but Justin Wiley has been a consistent piece where you're not turning on the TV like, man, I wish he would cover somebody. So. He makes, he makes the job easy for the defensive coordinators over there, and I think P.J. Fleck is excited to have this kid back. And I didn't realize he never visited before he committed. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Like that's, that shows what kind of relationship P.J. builds just by, like, you know, video chat, getting the kid on the phone constantly, uh, and, and just is bought into the program as well. And like you said, you know, he's a sophomore, but – He's only got room to get better. That's yeah. what's really the exciting part with Justin Wally. He's going to have a tremendous career here at the University of Minnesota. When we return.